Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, this is the first video of a series I'm doing all about the Provo MTC. But before I get started with that, I want to give you a brief introduction about who I am. So my name's Riley, and I was called to serve in the Texas San Antonio mission. I received my call in February of 2018, and then I left on my mission on June 20th. However, um, towards the end of my time at the MTC, um, I was told that I was going to need to um, temporarily um, return home for my mission for approximately 12 weeks. Um, so since I've been home, I have not been able to stop talking about the MTC because I just absolutely loved my experience there. And um, just the past few days, I've been feeling like I've wanted to be able to share this experience um, with more than just my family. Um, not only because I absolutely loved it, but because I know before I went, I was super nervous, not about like, you know, going out and serving a mission, but just not knowing what to expect. And so I thought that this um, video series would be very helpful, helpful for those preparing to go on a mission to kind of tell you a little bit about the MTC and like what to expect. So that's what these videos are going to be about. And I really hope that I'll be able to help you guys out and get you guys so excited to go to the MTC because it's seriously an amazing place. <clears throat> so this first video is going to be all about the first day at the MTC and kind of what to expect once you arrive and what goes on that first day. So I'm gonna start out, so the very beginning, um, you're getting ready to say goodbye to your family. Um, as many of you may know, when you go to get dropped off at the MTC, it is very quick. Like you do not have very much time to say goodbye or give hugs or take pictures or anything. So I highly recommend that before you get dropped off that you leave your house a little bit early and go to the Provo Temple across the street from the MTC and take pictures there with your family, say your goodbyes there because you will not have much time once you get to the MTC. So for me, that's what I did. Me and my family went over the Provo Temple. We took pictures together, said our final goodbyes, and then we drove across the street to the MTC. And once we pulled in, they directed us to this um, underground parking lot area. So you won't be like actually parking your car. You'll just kind of be driving through that general area. Um, and as soon as your car comes to a stop, um, you'll be getting out of the car and heading out. Um, but as you are driving down through that um, parking lot area, as you drive by, you're going to see so many like um, missionaries there waving to you and just so happy to see you and welcoming you there. And it's seriously the best feeling ever as you drive by and see all those smiling faces of these missionaries who are just so happy to be there and so happy that you're there as well. Um, so as soon as your car comes to a stop, um, there's going to be a mission, your missionary host waiting by your car. And as soon as you hop out of the car, um, that sister or elder is going to help you unload your bags. And that's about all the time that you're going to have to say goodbye to your family. Luckily for my, for me, my missionary host um, was able to take a picture of me and my family while we were down there as well. So I was able to give everybody a quick hug and say goodbye one more time. And then after that, me and my missionary host um, just walked off. We said goodbye to my family and we left. And so um, after that, your missionary host will take you to these um, flight of stairs. It's going to take you um, upstairs um, just to the campus. Um, and so, you know, after you're saying like goodbye to your family, it's, it's rough. I'm not going to lie about that. It's sad. But the one thing that made it so much easier is being surrounded by all those missionaries. As soon as I got to that flight of stairs, I had another sister come up to me. I didn't, obviously didn't know her. And she just came up and gave me a sister, a hug and said, sister, welcome to the MTC. And just really just like, I could just feel that love and her spirit and her excitement. And honestly, I just, I could feel that spirit and it made things so much easier. Like, of course, I was so sad saying goodbye to my family, but I could feel the love of my heavenly father and that he cared about me and he was sharing his love with me through these other missionaries. And I was so grateful for that. So if you're worried about saying goodbye to your family, it, it, it will be rough, but just know that you're gonna be surrounded by people who are gonna love you instantly and are gonna share that love with you. Um, so don't worry too much about that because it, it does get easier. Um, so once you get up to these, the top of this flight of stairs, 
um, your, your missionary host is going to walk you over to this building that they call T4 and they'll walk you to these doors and then you will go inside and your missionary host will stay outside with your luggage. And in this building, you're going to receive your name tag. Um, you're gonna receive your room key, your um, ID card, a missionary packet thing, and your schedule for the time that you're gonna be at the MTC. So you'll have your full schedule for the time that you're gonna be there just um, right from day one. Um, once you receive all that though, then they're gonna direct you on another door and your missionary host will be waiting there for you with your luggage. And then after that, you get to go to your room and see where you're gonna be staying. So you'll give this um, packet to your missionary host that will say your room number on it. And so she'll take you, you'll find it, and the sooner you get there, um, the sooner you get, um, so the sooner you get there, you basically get first dibs on um, where you get to sleep. So I was the second sister in my room, and so I got to choose my bed. I prefer the bottom bunk, personally. Um, so I was glad that I got to choose that. Um, and I've had a couple questions asking about how many sisters are in a room, sisters or elders. Um, and it really depends on how many sisters are in your district. Um, but there will never be more than six in there because there's only three bunks. So only six sisters can fit in there. So for me, I had six sisters in my district and so the room was completely full. Um, but I also know of some other districts that were there that only had um, like four sisters. So it really just depends. Um, the rooms are pretty small, but you will not be spending a whole lot of time in there. Um, I didn't find this out until I had been at the MTC for about a week that we aren't actually supposed to study in our rooms at all. So the time that you spend um, in your room is only going to be when you are getting ready in the morning and then once you get back to your room at nine o'clock at the end of the day and it's to get ready for bed. Or if you have some final studying that you want to do after nine o'clock, that's totally fine to study in there. Um, so yeah, so don't plan on spending too much time in your room. So even though it's small, don't don't worry about it, because um, it it wasn't really much of an issue, as, especially as long as you and the other sisters keep your stuff organized. Um, it it won't be a problem. So when you leave your room, um, you will not be unpacking right when you get to your bedroom. You'll just be dropping your luggage off. And my missionary host failed to tell me this, but before you leave, make sure that packet that they gave you in T4, um, make sure you take that with you. The one that has like your schedule in it, make sure you take the one that has your room key and your ID card in it. Um, basically take everything that they gave to you in T4 um, because my missionary host did not tell me this. She did tell me to bring my key and my um, ID card because you need that to get back into the room and into any of the buildings but I did not bring my schedule. So I ended up needing to um, refer to that um, with my companion's copy. And so it kind of complicated things. So make sure you don't forget that. Um, hopefully your missionary host will actually remind you. Um, so after that, you'll um, grab like those packets, make sure you bring something to write with as well and something to write on and your scriptures because next you will be heading to your classroom where you will meet your teachers your district and your companion. So your missionary host will walk you over to the building called T3 and that's where all the classrooms are gonna be at. And she'll just take you, he or she will take you just to the door cause um, they're gonna have to get back to their classes. But once you get there, there'll be more missionaries to help direct you and show you where to go. So once you get to your class, as long as you arrive on time, you will be able to go and send an email home to your family just letting you know that you arrived at the MTC and that you're doing well. Um, so make sure you get there on time if you want to be able to do that. Um, so once you get in the room, you just sit there and you wait for your district, the rest of your district to get there. Um, and on one of those little packets that they give you in T4, it will actually say the name of your companion on there. So as everybody comes in, you get to find out like who your companion is, um, and everybody in your district are all brand new. All of them arrived just the same time as you did. They're all new. This is all new experience. So you and your companion are going to be, you're both going to be learning all, everything together. Um, so, cause I've had a lot of questions about that. Like, do you have like a companion that's been there, like been at the MTC already, but no, it's, you guys both arrived on the same day. So be prepared for that. Um, 
but it's it's such a fun learning experience. So once your district all gets there, then you're going to be doing like kind of your teacher will do kind of like a welcoming thing and you're going to do introductions. Um, be prepared for the first few days of the MTC and really for your whole time at the MTC, you will be doing introductions a lot. Um, so be prepared to always know, like to be able to always tell people like where you're from and where you're going. You're going to get that, like ask that question the entire time you're at the MTC, whether it's from like your teachers as when they meet you or you meet new missionaries, you're always going to be telling people where you're from and where you're going. So be prepared for that. Um, it's super fun getting to know like where everybody's from and where they're going. Um, I really enjoyed that. So be prepared for that. Um, but once you're done in your class, then you will be, um, your teachers are going to take you to the welcoming devotional. And that is where all the missionaries who arrived that day are going to meet. Um, and the MTC presidency will kind of just talk to you and welcome you. Um, just give you some basic instructions. Um, I really enjoyed this meeting, um, especially like the singing, because that was my first time singing Called to Serve with missionaries. And oh my gosh, I can't even explain the spirit that is felt there as you are singing Called to Serve with just hundreds of missionaries around you. It is seriously the coolest, it's just the coolest experience. Um, and so prepare at any meeting that you go to while you're in the MTC, you will always sing at Called to Serve as either the opening or the closing hymn, um, which I just, I absolutely love. And then the other song that we sang there was Armies of Helaman. But then we, when we sing like the chorus, we basically say, we are now the Lord's missionaries. And that was cool too, but I did not pick up on that at first. Like I was just singing like the regular verse and then everybody else is like actually reading the lyrics that are up on like the little TVs. And I'm like, oh, that's not what I was supposed to sing. But once I figured it out, it was so cool. So look forward to that. Um, I'm assuming that they'll probably do that when you arrive as well. Um, so yeah, that was really awesome. So after that meeting, we went to dinner. Now this is something I need to warn you about. Um, for most of you, I'm sure you do not have dinner until like 5.30 or later. For me, I usually don't eat dinner till 7 and that's kind of about the same for all the other sisters that were in my district. But no, at the MTC, you will be having dinner at 4.30 every day that you are there, um, which will take some adjusting. Like for me, that totally adjusted because I'm the kind of person that has like a late breakfast, a late lunch, and then a late dinner. So it was totally new for me. So be, um, be prepared for that. Um, so you'll go to dinner and then after you eat dinner, and um, also I will be doing a separate video kind of talking about the cafeteria and like food and everything because who doesn't want to talk about food? But um, the cafeteria tends to be a little bit confusing sometimes. So I will do a completely separate video all about that. Um, anyway, so after dinner, you will be going to a couple workshops. So the difference between your class and your workshop is that your class, like I mentioned earlier, is only with your district, um, but with the workshops, it is with every like all the missionaries that arrived at the same time as you did. Um, you will divide into like separate rooms just because of, there's so many missionaries um, that arrive on the same day. So um, you will div be divided up that way, but it will be all with all those missionaries um, that arrived at the same time as you. Um, so you will be having workshops throughout the whole time that you are at the MTC and you'll always be with like that group of missionaries because you're all learning the same thing at the same pace. So that's kind of what workshops are. Whereas, like I said, classes are just with your district. Um, so after the workshops, um, you get to go back to your classroom and that's where you're going to meet your ZLs and your STLs. So your zone leaders and your sister training leaders. And um, while you... Once you get there, again, you will be doing introductions. So where are you, where are you from? Where are you going? And with my um, STLs and ZLs, they had a list of like a bunch of other questions. So like most embarrassing moment, favorite sports team, favorite vine, all of these like totally random questions, just fun things to get to know each other. Um, so it was so much fun. Um, so when you go there, you won't be meeting your whole zone. Um, right then you'll be meeting them later on and I'll be doing a separate video talking about 
your zone, like zone versus your district, and kind of explaining all of that. So you can look for that video. But um, yeah, just for that night, you'll be meeting your STLs and ZLs. Um, after you do brief introductions and I guess kind of talk to you about stuff, then they'll give you a tour of the MTC campus. Make sure when you go on this tour that you pay attention to like where everything is. Um, because when you do get to the MTC, they'll give you this paper that has like your schedule on it. And then on the back as a little map of the MTC. But it is very confusing um, until you actually go on this tour with the um, zone leaders and the sister training leaders. So make sure you pay attention. Um, it was still a little confusing for me after they gave us the tour. It takes a few days to figure out where everything is, but I promise you will get the hang of it. Um, so after that, then the elders and the sisters kind of split off. The zone leaders take the elders to their room and the sister training leaders will take um, the sisters to their room. And for me, um, my my sister training leaders and the other sisters in my zone, their, their rooms were like right next to mine. And so we were all just together. And so once we got to back to the room, it was time to like unpack our stuff. And um, that's kind of when we got to meet some of like the other sisters in our zone because they were coming in and they were like, welcome to the MTC. And like, just so welcoming, so nice. It was a little overwhelming because we were all like so worn out and ready to unpack and get to bed. Um, but just know when you are at the MTC, you are going to get the greatest welcoming you could ever imagine. Everybody is telling you, welcome to the MTC, and it's, it's so great. So, um, yeah, you get to unpack all of your stuff, and you're just in the room with all those sisters in your district that you just met a few hours ago. So, it is kind of awkward at first, I will not lie, because you just met each other. You don't know anything about each other except like where you're from and where you're going. And like I said in the questions that the, the zone leaders asked, like, you know each other's favorite vine and embarrassing moments, yet you don't know anything else about each other. So uh, that night is a great time to just kind of talk and get to know each other, um, get to know your companion, the other sisters, because you will be spending a lot of time with them. And by the, t the time you leave the MTC, they're seriously going to be they're gonna be like family. I absolutely loved my district. Um, and like I said, I'll be doing another video kind of talking all about that. Um, yeah, you're just gonna to learn to love them so much. Um, and you guys are gonna be so close. Um, but yeah, so after you unpack, it's time for bed at 10.30 and lights are out. And that's your first day at the MTC. Um, so hopefully this was helpful, um, and if you actually, if you have any other questions about, like, what the first day at, um, the MTC is like, if I miss something, um, you can just drop your questions below and I'd be happy to answer them. Um, or if you have anybody else who, um, is preparing to go on a mission, please share this video with them, because I really want to share my love of the MTC and, uh, and of just missionary work in general. Um, I want to share that with as many people as I can and be able to help as many people as I can and help to get rid of some of those nerves and worries of going to the MTC. Because like I said, the MTC is an absolutely wonderful place to be where you're just surrounded by the spirit 24 seven with hundreds of missionaries around you. And it's, it's incredible. And I'm just so excited for all of you. Um, my next video that I'll be doing is going to be all about your day-to-day -day schedule in the MTC. Um, so just kind of like, again, what to expect, what's your day going to look like? So if you are interested in that, then I'll be posting that one shortly. So you guys have a great day. And again, thanks for watching. Bye!